you. Yes, say welcome everyone. Welcome everyone. We're going to get some more daddy. Yes, we are going to make some food. We're going to make Welcome back food. everyone. A special welcome to my subscribers. S and S hopefully S you new viewers, because of this little handsome fella, <laughs> will become subscribers too. But on a serious note, today we're going to make a French toast sausage casserole. This is an overnight deal or an eight hour soak too. deal. So like jump right in. Eight eggs too. in there? Yeah. Eight eggs in there. And we're adding seven pounds of milk. <laughs> no, we're not adding seven pounds of milk, but we are going to mix our eggs up until they're nice and scrambled. Good mixing, BJ. Liam, you want to give it a shot? All right, let me see how you mix. Ooh, look at you. You are a machine. This time I'll do it fast. Okay. Okay, now that the uh, eggs are scrambled, this is one pint of heavy cream. BJ, would you please, very carefully. Okay, please. Yes, you'll do yours carefully, too. All right. This is one cup of whole milk. And nice and easy. Okay. Oh, that's good, that Dad. Mix. Oh, yes. Doesn't that look good? Can I mix, too? It looks good. Two. This is this. two tablespoons of dark brown sugar. Mm -hmm. yep. This is one teaspoon of cinnamon sugar. Now let's mix. Wait, 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 wait. Let's mix. And then this is one teaspoon of pure vanilla. Let's now mix. let's mix. Go ahead, give it a mix. I mix too. Yes, you'll take turns. Okay, great, great mixing, DJ. Liam? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good work. Can I have that, please? Yes. All right, so we're gonna mix this up. Oh, that looks good, then, right? Does that look good? Mm-hmm. Does it look good? Yeah. yeah. Look good. And it's so yummy. All right. Too. I eat the bread. All right, so that's our egg wash for our French toast portion of this. I am gonna eat the bread, Daddy. Breakfast that we'll oh, be making yeah. in the morning. Bread and bread. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and take uh, eighteen. Hawaiian dinner rolls, and we're just gonna, uh, they've been quartered up. We're just gonna start plunking them in. And then, uh, okay, that's good job, good job. Okay, that's a good job. I'm gonna eat that bread. Uh, you're Daddy. gonna eat that bread. Yes. And then all I'm gonna do is just get these soaked. So we'll come back once I have these all soaked, the whole thing, all 18 uh, rolls. Uh, again, they're Hawaiian dinner rolls. Yeah. All right, so the um, rolls are all combined in with our mix of cream and milk and brown sugar and cinnamon sugar. All I'm doing now is just covering this up so that I don't get any of the odors that might be in the refrigerator and also trying to help it from spilling over if somebody is playing around. We'll pick this up in the morning and uh, we'll cook it up in the oven. See you in the morning. All right good morning. We're back. I've let my custard and Hawaiian rolls soak up and you can see that they're all nice and French toast looking. Uh, to that, uh, I started this morning with sausages. Um, just regular sausages, whatever you want to use. Uh, your favorite sausages, maple, whatever. I'm just going to dump these into this bowl because we're going to make our French toast casserole in the cast iron. I'm not going to do anything with the grease. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit of butter to that. Uh, and then we'll start layering up our <coughs> sausage and French toast casserole. So we got that there. You can tell it's still nice and warm. Just going to let this melt down. <coughs> now it's pretty straightforward. Just going to scoop some of this up. Start placing it in. About half of this is going to go in, and then I'm going to start. I'm going to break up the sausage. So don't worry if it looks a little thin. There's plenty here. I told you there were uh, 18 rolls that I chopped up into quarters. So there we go. Pretty good. I'm going to start breaking these up. We'll come back once I have these all broken up. 
chopped up all of the sausage. I'm not, probably not going to use all of this, but I want to get a good amount of protein in my meal. Let's see how it looks. Maybe I will use it. All. This was 30 links. I'm just trying to make sure that every bite's going to have a little bit of sausage in there. Get in there. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Add in the rest of the French toast along with that custard. And I'll just spread this around. Come on. Spread out. They do stick together as you can see. That's why I'm using the tongs. I may just have to go bare hands on it. 350. Oven's already preheated. Uh, 35 to 40 minutes, but just keep an eye on it on the last 30. Uh, once it gets to 30, keep an eye on it and we'll come back. All right, our timer's gone off. Let's go ahead and see how it turned out. Get hot. There you go. Finished casserole. It was 40 minutes on the dot. Actually, maybe slightly more just because I was waiting for some stuff to settle. Um, something to mention that uh, I didn't do this round, but we do on occasion, is we'll put uh, some apples, chop up some apples and put that in the mix. All right, let's, uh, let's get a nice little serving here and cut into our French toast and sausage casserole. Later up. And there you go, nice and clean. A little bit on the sides, that's okay. I want to get that crust out. It's got some good yummy flavor on it. And there you go. You can see all the bits of sausage. Uh, and then you can top it with, uh, if you have some powdered sugar, that would be delicious, I'm certain. But I'm just going to use regular maple syrup with a little bit of butter. And uh, this happens to have just a bit of cinnamon sugar in it as well. You know the drill. Try it. If you add in the apples, let me know. Or if you just eat it this way, let me know. Or whatever other variations, you could also throw in some nuts. That'd probably be pretty tasty too. Subscribe, share, and like. Comments below. Tune in for the next video and have a great day. Peace out. Peace out.